What you see right now is one of the most broken starts in EU4. Not only we have 1000 development and 28k ducats, it is also rather easy to get almost unlimited mana from cheap trees. In this video, I will conquer half of Asia using this strat. Our game starts with this wonderful flavor event, let's close it and let's do the usual opening moves. So I won't grant any mana privilege, yes, I won't, but what I will grant is I will promote Shenpen bookkeeping for interest per annum and I will grant interface dialog to increase our income and control our monetary policy for another interest reduction. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to accept demands of Mongols, I will give them some provinces. And now what I will do is I will start selling another provinces to Oirat, like this. I don't need to sell any specific province, just anything Oirat would like to take. As you can see it refuses to pay some provinces, but it doesn't matter. Oirat and Mongolia just need to have more than 300 development, that's it, no other requirements. And here we go. Unguarded Nomadic Frontier has started and it will fire precisely in 8 years. Now what I could do is I could declare on Oirat with 4 tributary state and it would fire not in 8 years but only in 4 years. But I don't want to. Why you might ask? Because Oirat's cavalry is hitting like a tank. Speaking about tanks, have you ever heard about World of Tanks? It is our proud sponsor for today's content, and also a game that transcends your typical gaming experience. World of Tanks offers you a deep dive into armored combat from the mid 20th century, making every battle not just a game, but a history lesson infused with adrenaline. Boasting a massive arsenal of over 600 tanks from different nations and periods, each battle is a new story waiting to unfold. Customize the steel beasts with a range of options, tailoring them to your playstyle. And with World of Tanks, it's not just about the fight, it's about joining an active global community of passionate players. Regular updates keep the gameplay fresh with new events, missions and content. And of course, most importantly, it's completely free to play, offering everyone a chance to dive into each strategic depth with options for in-game purchases to enhance your gaming experience. Plus, every new player gets a $20 welcome pack to kickstart their journey experience, history, strategy and community. Click the link in my description, join World of Tanks and make your mark in epic tank battles. Thank you for our sponsor today and I wasn't exaggerating when I said that our discovery hits like a tank. It does. It will kill our armies. So instead I will just wait. It's not the optimal game choice but whatever. It's the safest one. Here we go. Nomad Frontier. That's what I've been waiting for. So you might ask why didn't I speed up the process? so to speak. Why didn't I lose 25 of war score to Oirat? Because it would just destroy me. Look, we would lose 20 mandate and if I lost 20 war score to Oirat, that means it would occupy some provinces here and that means I would be around 60 mandate, which is really bad. Really, really bad. My armies would be just paper. Instead I can do it like this. Easy. So what I'll do right now, I will lower autonomy in Tali provinces and just in general provinces in this region. Shinan. I will also multiple ports here and here, why not? Let's provoke some separatists as soon as I can. A Miao separatists, why not? I need rebels to occupy 10 provinces in this region, in Xinan. Let's provoke Tali revolt, let's provoke Yi revolt, and I think that should be enough, maybe. Let's also summon the diet and choose Shenban. I need them to become loyal. Remove back. Okay, let's count the provinces already. Okay, it would seem only one province is left, so I will start pleasing Shenban. To up a little. I need more loyalty because this privilege reduces more interest the more loyalty champion has. Okay, here we go, Yunnan has broken off. What I'm going to do is I'm going to immediately establish tributary. Let's wait a few days. Okay, that's interesting. So for some reason it says that we are too far away, I don't know why. Okay, here it is. Let's make it friendly, claim guarantee. Okay, now let's establish tributary. I already screwed up a little as you can see. I need to boost our stability twice. So because I had to wait to establish tributary in Tali, I lost 9 rounds potential, which is bad. But well, the game might be a little bit buggy. So I'm going to sell titles, I'm going to buy some corruption, yes, okay, perfect. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all loans, yes, all possible loans, 20-30k targets, which is perfect. What I will do is I will bestow gifts to Tali, so what I will do right now, as you can see I have this handy tool called auto clicker. You already know you broke the game when you need to use this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to gift all of my money to Dali. 
Without auto clicker it would be quite difficult. Just even with auto clicker it's quite difficult. Okay, just perfect. Not really couldn't be better. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to grant all promises to Dali. You might not understand what the hell is going on. Why am I doing this? Believe me, you will. And here we go, I give all promises except my capital to Dali. Yes, it was the first time I've seen minus 32k distance modifier, I don't know what happened. So I had to move my capital here. This way I guess it updated and it worked. But usually Dali would accept my tributary right from the start, without anything like this. So right now I would also become bankrupt, right? And take a last 5k. Let's give some gifts to Dali. My favorite auto clicker. Okay, perfect. Let's see if I can plunder min a little bit more. I can't, watch out. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to play as Dali. Yes. 29k tuckets in 1457. 29k. 1000 development without downsides of min. 1000. We can finish mission so defy our domain, which I might, which might be a good idea, but I won't. Okay, so what I'm going to do right now, what I'm going to do right now, is first I won't state any promises. I can state, I can, it's possible, but I won't. Soon you'll see why. I don't know why we have 79 force limit, I guess it's a bug. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to hire some company, but unfortunately I don't have any manpower right now. We can afford it, no big deal. I'm going to beat up min and I'm going to start expanding into Manchuria. Our ruler is not that good, so I will make him a general. What? Zero tradition, three military mana, three siege. I don't know how it happened, but it happened. Well, anyway, really, really lucky for me, I guess. I guess really, really lucky. I guess I just won a lottery. Let's take a look at our army maintenance. And in usual situation, I would be afraid, I would freak out. Minus 40 balance, it's quite bad, but we have 28k targets. We can keep this up for quite a while. Well, let's delete these troops. There is no need for them. Well, let's take white min. Easy. Here we go, 100 over score against min. I won't piece it out right now. I will first finish this mission. Because we have more than 25 war score in an independence war. I will run independence. I also will state Liaonin. Now I will finish some missions. Conquer South China. March to Beijing, conquer Xinan. Take a look, we already have a lot of claims, and that's what I'm going to do. Let's also solidify our domain, and let's declare on all of these nations. We can't make Shimbuku urgent, no one would help Zhenzhou, which is perfect. And let's go to declare on an eye, perfect. Now let's dance. I will also upgrade our troops, I forgot, and buy 10k infantry just for sieging. I know usually everyone sieges with mercenaries, because of one power, but I have no problems with my power, but I will with war exhaustion, because of attrition. Besides, you can't never siege too much. Let's develop Jurchen a little bit more, so I can accept it. Here we go. And soon I will switch to it. And yes, I have two more mil techs than anyone else here, that's why I am so brave. That's why I'm not afraid of them. Let's quickly deal with Korchen before one goes, oh no, I've lost. Quite sad. Here we go, let's pull an exchange Joe. Perfect. Now I'll pull an X and I. Here we go. I would wait a little before nesting Korchen. Let's remember about overextension. Meanwhile, let's switch to Anorachonia, maybe, why not? Okay, now I can finally pull an Scorchion. Or the first, let's see. Maybe I already can switch my primary culture, let's see. Okay, I need to wait a little bit more. Here we go. And yeah, I almost can. I will develop this process a little, just a little. 47, 48, 49, just a little more. Okay, let's just unstate something, I guess. Okay, now we are Jurcha, that means we can form Manchu. Let's conquer Korchin and get new government reform. Oh yeah, I forgot, we lost our Chinese kingdom. Is it bad? No, not really. We need to choose a new one. It's not plutocracy, maybe? Why not? Or... Okay, autocracy, why not? Uh, let's piece out Shiba. Perfect. I'm calling only Georgian provinces right now, because I need only Georgian provinces from Manchu. So I need to call 10 more provinces. Now I can piece out Virginia. Let's kind of make sure we're conquering Jochen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, perfect. Let's just take these provinces for now. We can become an empire. I would do this anyway by taking mine date of heaven, but might as well do this. Why not? Okay, only two more cores. Let's see. Yeah, that's really enough. Two more cores, and I will get cores on all Manchu provinces. Not even. I see. Not only on Manchu provinces, on all provinces in Manchu region. Very good, very good. We are having a little bit of rebel problems. No big deal. Oh, and I forgot. I forgot. If I am already Manchu, I can state some provinces. 
I will try to stay to pay gin provinces, most important. I need to not overdo it. It's okay right now. I couldn't stay them because I would need to unstate them to become in two, and that would mean I would lose a lot of admin points. But now I can do it like this. Okay, that's already good. Let's buy some grand capacity. Let's wait for a month. Already not bad. We are already not losing as much. Not even above first limit. Our money will last us a little bit longer. Here we go. Now I have 20 Manchu provinces. Oh, I forgot. I need to own this core province. Yeah. Well, anyway, let's score it. Oh, I got this expensive core. Yeah, we have a lot of war exhaustion. We have a lot of stuff right now going on. That's to be expected. It seems I could try to unify China. Let's build some ships. And let's see. Can I declare Oman Mao? So, I wanted to form Manchu. I want to form Manchu, but maybe first I will try to finish our missions and only then do it. I won't core Manchu provinces, only core ones. Okay, let's take main date of heaven. Oh, okay, maybe not the best idea. Or maybe, okay, let's do it. Let's stop in me. I will take main date of heaven, conquer mean, perfect. Now we have main date. Here it is, we are still a steel empire. More growing capacity, which is just perfect. We can state more, finally. Let's state whole China. Okay, that's enough, I guess. And we can finally unify China. Use the CB. Let's go. I'll start with the Oirat. I will first unify China, then I'm going to form Manchu, get free course on whole Manchuria, and everything will be fine. Let's declare on Taiwan. Eunuchs, I forgot. Yeah, we've got some Eunuchs. Let's get rid of them. And yes, we've got some new Chinese Emperor missions. Now I'll need to get 40 crown land, which might be difficult. We also have this disaster, Empire of China in name, so we need to accept some Chinese cultures. It's except Wu, or the fall of Min. Let's get 10 main date, why not? I just understood that someone might not know, but with the Unified China CB, you get a free course on every province you occupy, provided it's in China, of course. And that's why I declared. Let's unaccept Y culture, and I need to accept one more Chinese one. Let's piss out pirate, we don't need anything else to be honest. Let's see. I also need province from Karadel, to Unified China. Karadel, Mongolia, and Mon Mao. Mon Mao is the most difficult here, as tons of lies. Let's reconquer Taiwan, perfect. I will delete for it here. It's quite useless. I just need one province from Karatel and that's it, nothing else. Let's buy one more company, or maybe even two more companies. I'm quite rich. Grand company, free company, and I think I can even declare one more. Let's unify China. Okay, let's piss out Karatel. need these troops ASAP. Can I piss out Wired already? Please? No? Anyway, don't care. Let's accept one more Chinese culture and we've stopped the disaster. Perfect. Let's continue. Free mandate, free mandate. Okay. Uh, let's just break alliances, I guess. Let's go conquer Ayuta. Just wait peace. And I'll prepare to the Crown Mongolia. By the way, we can become Confusion. Let's do it. Mighty Army Tradition, very good events. White Peace Ayuta for short truce. Or maybe let's just can break some alliances. Nothing to break. Let's also declare on Mongolia. Unify China, as usual. I don't know, very lucky events as of now. Hope it won't become worse. Let's hire more troops, more mercenaries. I will develop up Canton to 13, finish one more mission, build a power base. Fate of the mandate, our ruler, Yan ruler, will get a lot of mana. And only unified China is left. Let's annex one more, just perfect. Everything is going even better than I thought it would be. First idea group is going to be magic, why not? Okay, that was kinda easy, let's peace out. Now we have unified China, very cool. Let's finish it, minus 5 all power costs, but that's not it. I won't finish this yet right now. I need to release 8 small OPMs and make them tributaries. Easy. And I need to make sure they don't border each other, so they can start wars. Let's release 2. Tributary. Yeah, why not? Yeah. Okay, that was a bad idea. But anyway, 3, 4, 6, 8. Perfect. Now we'll get plus 1 more tribute from tributary states. I can do this. That's not a lot, but hey, that's 3 mana. Now I will form Manchu. Let me make sure everything is okay. Everything is okay. Let's form Manchu. First, I've got wars in whole Manchuria. I should have at least, right? Yeah, I did. Perfect. Second, let's take Manchu ideas. They're very good. Perfect. And I've got new missions. Let's finish some of them. United Fragments. Well, let's hire some cavalry. Okay, let's also hire some usual one. So it's faster. Truce with Mif and Rajoni has expired. Perfect. Just what I need. Second ground reform is going to be Cartel Noble Privileges. Why not? Okay, I need more cavalry. I don't know why. Let's check how much do I have. Army is cavalry, yeah, I see. I need a little bit more. 600 more to be precise. So I don't know why their liberty desire is so high. Chinese kingdom, I see. Let's grant strong touches, maybe. If I can, I can't. Okay, then let's just bestow gifts. We have a lot of money, so no need to save it up. 
Yeah, they have highly pretty desire because they are Chinese kingdoms. Here we go, let's reorganize the tribes. Rising power again won't really help us, but anyway. Dominate Trojans. I will take this legendary conqueror. He's really good, believe me. Where is he? Here he is. Minus 5 years of separatism, plus 10 shock damage. Very good. Let's make Beijing our capital. Issue the 7 grievances. Until the death of our ruler. Let's also finish this mission, why not? And can I form Qin? Not yet, but soon. It's allied to Tsan. I see. Okay, I think let's start conquering. I'll conquer whole Tibet. Now we can do it. Now we can conquer. I have some idling companies. So let's conquer Solon. Reconquest. Let's conquer Shiba. Reconquest or Chani. Perfect. Need to wait. Yeah, we're going to blob. Plain and simple. Let's get all this ready expansion. Let's also conquer Sarek Yogir. Why not? After all, why not? Let's stop on me. I see Odo has joined to help. I don't know why, but anyway. Won't ask stupid questions. Just destroy them. We can conquer Sarek Yogir. Perfect. Let's do it. Why not? Let's also conquer Solon. All course, no need to even do anything. Some of my troops have nothing to do, let's continue. Our conquests, let's peace out Oirat. New attack, just perfect. Some cannons and I need to incorporate them. I need to buy. So let's see. I see Mongolia, need some help, but I will first focus on Tibet. A lot of mountains and forts. Karadel is mine. Let's just wait peace Mongkon for now. Nivk is already mine, basically. Okay, let's vassalize you. I will feed Limbo 1 to you. Let's also try to get Nivk. Perfect. What about Mongolia? Can I piss out? Almost. I just need one province to form Chin. That's it. Limbo 1 is going to you. No? Weird. Anyway. Okay, now it does. Let's conquer this nation. Let's piss out Monko, so we'll just take some provinces here. Chilling goal. Most important. Okay, it doesn't matter. Let's take this. Form Chin. I can't right now. Fine. Okay. Over 100 over extension. Here we go. They will take this province from you. Okay, perfect. Just perfect. Our 100 extension is not perfect, but could be worse. I will also declare it on Viet. Looks really easy. I will just unoccupy all provinces occupied by Shiba and it should try to capitulate. I hope. Conquest of Vietnam is going great. Surprisingly. Shiba is mine. Can even take one more province here. Perfect. Perfect. We already almost have Chin borders. Let's not conquer Vietnam. Because my biggest enemy right now is not Vietnam, it's not Chakata, it's not whatever, it's not Uzbek. It's rebels. It's pain. It's pure pain. I remember why I hate doing world conquests. And yes, by the way, we are kinda running out of our money, but that's expected. That's because I kinda done it not really optimal. In theory, you can extract like 50k, 60k easily, maybe even more, but I wasn't min maxing, but I should have. Let's conquer Vietnam, and now I will form Chin. Yes, I will. Here we go. Get new ideas, minus 25 core creation cost reduction. Yes, please. Let's also pass one more reform. Establish Lifan Yuan. Perfect. We have that. Now we have minus 35 core creation cost. Let's see. Minus 65 actually. Okay, perfect. Right now I will also release more trip trees. And we get a new mission tree. Jin's mission tree. Let's get 20 mandate. Here's those China. Get a really cheap advisor. Plus 5 discipline. Here he is. Let's upgrade him to 5. I need to get three stability to get some bonus additional. So I won't finish this mission. Not right now. Right now, let's release some more tribute trees. Salon, if, if you wonder why am I doing this, it's because every piece of free mana is good. And if there are 100 pieces of free mana a year, that's really good. That's awesome. Shiba. Remember, we are monarchy, we are not port, so we need to keep an eye on our mana. And I need to change all these tributes to mana. And yes, by the way, it wouldn't work if we didn't finish the mission, which grants us plus one mana from tribute trees. It wouldn't, believe me. I tried. Establish tribute tree. Let's finish. Also, this mission for plus 20 mandate. Let's see, I think I could release someone else. Yeah, here. Okay, already looking good. Maybe someone in Taiwan. Reboot tree. Okay, I can't see anyone else, although let's try here. I think someone here also. No, okay. Yeah, I think that's it. They all send a lot of mana. That's the gist. And we can increase it even further. Let's finish secure South China, get really good commandment. And I need three stability. Let's increase it once, twice. Perfect, get plus 5 land, almost 3 to be honest. His land, now I will conquer Korea, fabric I claim, okay, let's go. And I need to develop some institutions, let's see the cheapest province do it. This one, why not? 5 siege, 5 siege, 5 siege, do you see this? And yes, they destroyed my fleet, but doesn't matter. I can recover, they can't. I have siege in Korea, even as this OP mean, it's really difficult. I can burn it down to Pitaka Koreana, but I won't, why not? Why not take it? And where is Ocean 2? Here it is. Renaissance. Perfect. 
What's next North Korea? Perfect, perfect and perfect. One more mission. Overrun oh, Gangia. Oh, Parma claims I should cancel and do it once again. Perfect. Now I will declare on our southeastern nations at once. I know it sounds crazy because it is crazy. Let's go. We have no time to waste. Let's do something. Let's see, can I not you yet in one war? Oh yeah, maybe I declare on Parma first. Make a real good budget. Uh, let's see their tech. Can I do this? Not really. Not really. Okay, then uh, let's try to conquer this Sam nation. Okay, let's declare on Nansan. I will make our Kubitrand. Let's also declare on Mankon. I'm trying to not bring Southeasterners into this war. Only Burma. We can finish a few more missions, balance the mandate, and prosperous age. Minus to all of our costs. Very good. Okay, I've conquered this nation, and this one is the most important. It will grant me access to Burma. Oh, they refuse. Not for long, I guess. Not for long. We will move Emerald Buddha to Beijing. Very cool. Let's see, can I? Is on Sipo? I wish. I wish I could. Okay, let's annex Sipo. Now have access to Burma, which is perfect. Let's conquer Monyan. Now have access to Kale, which is once again perfect. Oh, and I see everyone can join the coalition, which is kind of bad. Not even kind, it is awful. Okay, I have an idea. And my solution is to declare on even more nations. But without Kale, they can't. Enter the collision if they're at war with me. Ava is mine. Perfect, 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 and perfect. Oops, Southland Sun. What concrete later also? Kale is mine. So is Monkan. Let's also declare on Khmer. What's stopping me? Nothing stopping me. Nothing at all. It's out now. But okay, rebels might stop me. They might. But aside from that, I'm not afraid. I'll make one more jeep tree, as did before. Everything is under control. No need to worry. I hope. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, I need more of everything to be honest. Overextension is just a number or whatever. And yes, by the way, overextension is just a number. It's already less than 100. Quite fast. But oh my god, what's going on here? Oh my god. It's bad. It's really bad. Oh my god. Oh no. Not Beijing. I need more mercenaries. We can finish one more mission. Green Standard Army. Very cool. Okay, I will pass this later. Let's be out Vietnam. Gangu. Oh my god. Yeah, it's awful. Okay, that was fun. I guess, but let's not relax, we still have Ayute. Truth with Mongolia has expired, sorry Mongolia, goodbye. Okay, like, I literally core like 300 over extension every year, and I still have too much of admin mana, I don't know what's going on. That's the power of this thread. Let's ask for the mana. They need to make one button to change all tributes, because right now it's, it's pain. Okay, finally done. But let's buy a new admin tag. Yeah, instance is spraying kinda slow, because I'm always at war, which is not good, but anyway, let's declare on Ayute. There is only war in the Qin Empire. Finally this year, let's take it. Minus 25 war score cost. Boy is mine. Once again, our extension just a number. And Ayute is also mine. Let's see. Okay, let's just piece out like this. Perfect. Perfect. Also clear on Gorka, I guess. Why not? Also be able to conquer Chakata, just what we need. And by the way, next common reform, finally, we can get representatives of the crown. Plus one mana from Chibitri State. So we would already get, let's see, plus 3 mana from our chip trees each month, which is not bad at all. I finished our diplomatic ideas, let's change back to admin, I want to say. I will also delete some forts, as usual, too much of them, and I've killed some rebels already, so no need for this many. And here we go, less than 100 of extension. Easy. Every Chinese playthrough, if rebels are not in south, they are in north. I will just do this. Can't be bothered. Our idea group obviously going to be administrative, we are plugging. Let's piece out Chagatai and almost dealt with Cork. Oh, even let it be, why not? Let's just conquer this for pretty borders. I guess let's also declare on Pengal, you might ask why, and the answer is, as usual, why not? Truce with Korea has ended, you know what it means, you know what it means. Let's wait piece back monies and continue conquering Bengal. Finally, can impress your sons, and we almost ran out of our illegal money, let's say. Not really illegal, but there is definitely some level of rot involved. Well, to be honest, it's not all in. No, no, not this. No, really. They have over current capacity a little. Oh no, don't work. I didn't really min max. I could get, like, I guess, no. At least 50k, at least, if I try it. Like, really try it. And then I would still have the money. Back wipe. Like this up and call. Beautiful, beautiful, and beautiful. Even Japan would be able to join the coalition, but don't care, we have truces, we have a lot of truces. And truces defend not me, but my enemies. If not for truces, I would already conquer them. Let's also quickly conquer Lansan, real quick. I will force trip to Jumpego, because why not? It's boring to conquer, you know, I want something more fun. 
I have like three mil tags more than any of my neighbors because I have tons of mana. I generate tons, like literally. Four provinces, sun is mine, let's take something from Ayute, Lana is mine, and let's conquer Khmer. And to be honest, I would already like to stop. Not because I'm afraid rebels will break my country, because they won't. Look, I have more law enforcement units than modern China. The problem is that it's already quite boring and like no challenge at all. Like, let's take a look. Like, I mean, no challenge. Look, just look. Like, this is the most OP strat I've seen, I don't know. We get 4 mana points a month just from cheap trees. That's insane. That's really insane. And if we finish this mission, mission trade system, we would get even more. It's literally a combination of infinite mana and very good start. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. Hope you liked it. If you liked it, please like it and subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.